Hello everyone and welcome to Dark Souls Prepare to Cheese. It's time to go rescue Rhea. R H E A Rhea. God, even without the lantern, your gleaming white skin is bright as hell. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? The correct answer is no. No? Really? Hmm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but, well, we're friends now. So I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> Yes, if you tell him you're a cleric, he will just flat out attack and try to kill you. He doesn't like clerics. If you tell him you're not a cleric, he decides that he does like you and kicks you down a hole. I'm going to enjoy killing you right before I go to New Game Plus. Now, when you're killing the necromancers in the catacombs, your odds are you're going to get a skull lantern from one of them, unless one, unless the one who drops the lantern happens to clip through a floor or a wall and falls off the map. Yes, that has happened to me. They really should have created a different model for you in that pose instead of just stretching your skirt like that. It looks weird. Now, how to deal with this? I do want to be able to see, but I don't have cast light. Eh, uh, screw it. Get your fucking shield up. If you want to cheese these guys? Here's one method. God damn it. Hit them, not me. Come on, guys. Are you stuck? And thank you, Bone Totems.
those guys don't show up until after you grab that item on the ledge, but as you can see, they're uh, pretty effective at killing those guys for you. Friendly fire is my favorite kind of cheese. And I'm also thankful that it's so prevalent in Bloodborne. And if you're lucky, they'll drop white titanite chunks. And before we go dealing with that shit, let's go reconnect with patches. Just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? For heaven's sake, let's not mope about, eh? You're still alive. I said I'm sorry. Well, I know. Take this. It proves something, doesn't it? You don't get this if you say yes. <laughs> I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, you know what I mean, don't you? Indeed I do. In fact, I'm resisting a certain temptation right now. If you do die down there, and you want to get back down to rescue Rhea without having to... Go through the illusory wall, climb down the ladder, and fight your way past those totems. You can walk down here and then drop off this lower ledge, which will do less damage, as you can see. I totally meant to demonstrate that. And just like that, she's already gone. Back up to the undead parish. kind of interesting because I didn't hit the bonfire as evidenced by these dead totems. <laughs> or maybe I just missed her when I went down there. Now, I've... Oh yeah, I've also got that uh, super divine ember to go for. But first... Oh, crap, really? There we go, just one ought to do it. I think I will go for Endurance next. Dex isn't really a high priority now that it's up to 20. They're very... Aside from the gold tracer and the silver tracer and maybe one or two others, I don't think there's any dex weapons that require you to have dex above 20. Now, this little fucking asshole. Let's see if I can shoot him and get him to fall down here. God, there's no way I could get a decent shot at him through this dark. Shield is not going to do any fucking good against this dick. So... Wow. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Ooh. That I can kind of see on the glow of my bow. So. Run like a little bitch. Get down the ladder. Will he kill himself or come after me? He comes after me. And now he's going to guard my bonfire for me. Until I go over here and lure him off the ledge. And there you go. One prick out of your way. Now, the Black Knight you fight here is guarding the Effigy Shield. When you go through this fog, grate, fog gate, he will aggro and come after you. Normally, I'd like to uh, kill that prick and deal with him right here. Here he comes. Oh, shit! Ill-equipped, ill-equipped, ill-equipped. Patches, save me. <laughs> I don't care. Anything is better than nothing at this point. you get patches backstab the fucking hell out of him screw it gimme oh my god are you fucking kidding me not a single black knight weapon before the kiln oh my god Seriously, that is a lot of fucking boulder shields. But yeah, boulder shield that was actually a pretty a pretty good choice because the only thing better than a boulder shield is a silver knight shield, and the silver knight shield only beats the boulder shield by one point of stability. So yeah. It may it the, the boulder shield may take the silver medal, but it's a close call. Hmm. Jesus. You know what? Let's uh, swap this out. I can still hear them adjusting their feet as they stay trained on my position, even with this. Longbow? Yep. Just gotta walk straight off the ledge past that item. I really need to switch these things up. Get your shield up, goddammit. <sighs> okay. 
Come off it. God fucking damn, no wonder it killed those two so fast. Okay. I'm going to keep my gold one on for the sake of picking up more items. But at least now when I want to grind, I'll have that option. Actually, can I... Nope, still fat rolling. I need to put more into endurance if I want to change that. Now for this. Can I get the plunge attack? Yes! Let's see now. That's the way to the bonfire. I don't want to hit that just yet. Ugh, I hate those guys. Everybody hates those guys. the way back up and here's where that black knight was coming from that's why you get to hear his footsteps for quite a while before he actually shows up and the lore heavy effigy shield Thankfully, these guys have a very small perceptual window area range. Now, since I haven't placed the Lord Vessel and brought down the Great Lord's Barrier, uh, Leroy is not going to show up. So... Mm, not really much reason to go any further. So... Oh, wait. Yeah, I got to, uh... Gotta go get that Super Divine Ember. Hang on. Okay. Let's see if I can get this Divine Ember. Psych! Now that we're done with the Grave Lord Covenant, we can join this one. And immediately we get Great Chaos Fireball. Tomb. Now, this is about the closest thing to cheesing these guys as I have ever found. Depending on how powerful this is, will determine whether it's 
good cheese or not. Kinda wishing I had killed the Hydra and rescued Dusk so that I would have cast light for this. Why the hell is that a sorcery and not a pyromancy? got four castings of this it might not work <laughs> yeah There's three. I'm so dead. That's right. Wake up to an ass kicking. Don't think they're going to let me up. Wow, really? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Wish I got more castings of that. Really? Come on. Could you at least hit him before he knocks you flat on your ass? This cheese was insufficient. Okay, how many was that? Is that all of them? Okay. Yeah, some people like to just run in here and grab it and then die. I personally am not a big fan of losing souls and humanity like that. Luckily, I managed to handle that situation well enough to not die by some fucking miracle. But I definitely want to go hit that bonfire now. But yeah, Chaos Flame, you get that just for joining the uh, Servants of Chaos Covenant. And that Lingering Lava does some extra damage. And this is just that was just with a plus two Pyromancy. If you actually upgrade that thing a lot more, it will do more damage and probably kill them in one shot. But yeah, that, that was ugly. That w did not go well. Actually kind of surprised I didn't... There were several occasions there where I really should have died. Now for the climb back out. Yes, I could warp back out of here, but there's items to be had, damn it.
Really? You didn't get staggered from that? Please get your shield up. Right in the face. And in the fucking hand. Never taken one of those to the knee. I have taken one to the ankle. Oh, wait, no. Yes, I took one to the knee. I fucking screen capped it specifically because of that. Jesus! Through the floor, even. Right there. Oh, fuck off. You can jump over to where he is and go beat the shit out of him, but you have to... Oh, you have to slide down two of those coffins and then jump to his ledge, which is a bitch with two of those giant skeletons right on your ass. Wow. Thank you. Zweihander is... Zweihander is definitely better for this, just for the sheer virtue of the... that it staggers them. I mean, I haven't upgraded this thing at all, but it is going to stagger him. That's why everyone loves this Wayhander. Because it deserves their love. Incidentally, if you are in the Grave Lord Covenant and you're using those miracles, this is a great place to hide. And then when they do find you and hop down to this ledge, you can just pop that Great Lord, uh, Grave Lord Greatsword miracle, and it just fills that platform with giant knives. If I had gotten the timing right, I really would have fucked that guy. I disguised myself as this skull here, and he still found me. Clever bastard. Okay, that, for now, is the Tomb of the Giants. I will be coming back later to get the rest. After I've placed the Lord Vessel, and I'm actually ready to take this place on. There's two bone skeletons down, giant bone skeletons down there. Once you get them out of your way, you can uh, jump from the ledge down there to get where this archer is. I've tried shooting at him in the dark. It's a fucking pain in the ass. It's like he moves. I keep a beat on a single location, and yet I hardly ever hit him. So I'm just going to say, fuck that noise and get the hell out of here. So, now I want to buy all but one of Rhea's miracles and then leave her there so that this asshole will kill her. Oh, it's you. You rescued Milady. Well, a pity that is, for it will amount to nothing. For the little madam is not worth her salt without her family name. <laughs> all jealous? Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings 
depend upon your faith. It's because if I kill him first or buy all her miracles so that she winds up getting sent to the Duke's archives as a hollow and then kill her, she won't drop the pendant. So I basically let her die here to get the pendant. The pendant is completely useless. Actually, its only purpose is to trade it in with Snugly the Crow for one of the ears for the Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant. But, you know, OCD. Gotta get everything. Hello. I will never forget what you did. I am deeply indebted. For it was not within my power to save Vince or Nico. I cannot thank you enough. In case you have not heard, I am Rhea of Thoreland. I only wish there was some way I could help you. But I am inexperienced and I only know the art of miracles. If that could be of any help, speak to me again. Maybe you should have been a pyromancer. Would a miracle be of any help to you? I would be most pleased if that was so. May we discuss miracles then? Divine Blessing, let's see, yeah, I haven't bought anything from Petrus because I want to buy all of it from her because it's so much cheaper from her. Yeah, um, using Beast Roar in Bloodborne has given me a much greater appreciation of force here in Dark Souls. Uh, Seek Guidance is the only one I'm not going to buy from her. I will get... I will get that from Petrus. That's going to be the last thing I leave her with. So... Then be safe. So, that's going to be all for today. I'm going to go grind until I get enough souls to... buy the rest of her stuff. And then we'll continue on. I'll probably be going to Dark Root after that. So, until next time, fare thee well.